What is up everybody, Tech Checker here, and welcome to episode 13, lucky number 13 of This Week in Dioramas. Now, if you are not familiar with how this show operates, every week I go through Instagram looking for the absolute coolest looking dioramas, and I showcase them right here on this channel. If you would like to be considered for a future showcase, all you need to do is upload your diorama pictures to Instagram and tag them with the hashtag This Week in Dioramas, and that will give me the best chance of finding your dioramas to showcase. We've got a great show lined up for you today, but before we can do that, we need to reveal the winner of the fan vote from last week. And if you don't recall who we were voting for, it was the Cartwright's Machine Shop by Craig's underscore Modeling Corner, the Tiki Bar by 1 to 10 World, the Apartment Complex by The Chris Lyons, the Warehouse Diorama by Henry715, and the Masters of the Universe Grayskull by Lasershot. All of these were amazing dioramas, but there could only be one winner, and the winner is the Cartwright's Machine Shop by Craig's Modeling Corner with 56% of the vote. Congratulations to Craig on the win. This was a really cool project. Thank you to everybody who has been submitting and tagging, and of course, thank you to all of you who are voting. This just makes it that much more fun. So make sure you stay tuned till the end where I will reveal my top five from this week and you'll get another chance to vote. All right, we are ready to get this show on the road, so let's go ahead and jump right on into the first diorama from Styrosmith underscore Dio Arts, and I believe this is the first time being showcased, and this is an amazing diorama. I love it so much. It's so cool, and we start off with this stylized picture with the lights off, but the diorama lights on, and this is looking so good. This is just an amazing display piece. Look at all of the details that they've got going on with this Oscorp Logistics uh, building. I mean, this is just, it's full of detail and, and sculpt and paint. I just love it. I love these little pieces here and here, the little uh, fan units. You've got control switch boxes, uh, the roll up, Garage doors are looking so amazing. I mean, this is just a amazing piece of work. So awesome job to Styro Smith Dio Arts for an absolutely stunning piece. This is just wow. What a great way to start the episode off with this absolutely amazing piece. Next is this prop coming from Plastic Underscore Goodies. And I just, I love this thing so much. Number one, it's really quite meta in the fact that this is a 3D printed 3D printer. <laughs> That's so cool. I love this thing. There's one picture. It's a really nice looking picture, but look at this. It's so cool. I love the detail. You've got the little spool for, I assume, plastic that is fed into. I've never actually seen a 3D printer in person, but this thing looks really cool. So thank you to Plastic Goodies for sharing this piece. It's so cool. Next is this diorama coming from Xenoworks Hero Works. They do a lot, a lot of work, and this is a really nice looking diorama that they've got here. Uh, I assume it's 1 12th scale. Pretty much all of their work that I've seen is 1 12th 1 scale. Just look at all the details they've got in here. You've got this little wire hanging down. You've got some, uh, like a drainage pipe there and some conduit. Just an awesome looking display piece. So hit them up, go check out Xenoworks HeroWorks on Instagram if you are looking for a commission. They are always open to that, so go check them out. Here is a really sweet prop from Donovan's art that I really dig. This is a vintage Star Wars uh, carded little action figure piece that is really fun. I am wondering where you got this little plastic bubble, if this was just a uh, piece that you found off of something else bigger and, and cut it off and used it or you know what you did, how you made this. It's so cool. What is it, three and a half inch scale? Really cool, so awesome. Thank you so much for sharing. We're really hitting the props hard this week, and this one is coming from Lucas Tattoos. I believe this is gonna be a 124th, 125th scale, and it is a porta potty. This is a really cool piece. I love it. I like this little uh, bit of grass that you've got down there. Paintwork is really nice and grimy looking. Love the sign on here. This is just 
Always so cool to see. I love when Lucas T Tattoos submits these. They submit a lot of work. They're really talented. Look at all of that inside. This is just a cool display piece. So go check out Lucas Tattoos if you haven't already. They do some pretty amazing work. Next up is coming from Nimai EJ8. I probably said that wrong, but I am really liking this piece. I think you did a great job with the paintwork. It's just a really fun, solid looking piece. I love that you've got Spider-Man throwing away some trash, and I really like your graffiti on here. We'll cycle through a couple more of these pictures, and this is really cool. I love it. Thank you so much for submitting. I love your paintwork. Look at that, that nice little little bit of subtle detail where you've got the brown kind of fading in over the blue and it just looks really good. So awesome job to Nimai EJ8. And this one is coming from Android E Artwork. Go check them out. This is a, looks like it's a work in progress. So we will be looking forward to the final product on this. But what I am really loving is this door. That door is really impressive. I love all of the detail that you have sculpted into this. It is going to look so cool when you have finished this. So thank you for tagging it. Make sure you remember to tag it when it is complete so we can see the progression and the final picture of this. Thank you so much for tagging it again. Here's a cool display coming from Bambino underscore dioramas. I love the sculpt work that you've got throughout this. I'm wondering if this is complete or not. There's no information about it. I assume it is a 1 12th scale diorama, but it is looking really, really good. So thank you for uploading and tagging this. This next one was tagged by none other than Plastic Attic. Thank you so much for tagging me on this one. And this is, it's a Mar Marvel theme bar, 80% complete. So let's cycle through some of these pictures. I really like this display. It's looking really cool. All of the little props and whatnot that you've got back here on the bar is looking pretty sweet. So looking forward to seeing this when it is 100% complete, but look at that floor plan. I love your floor. That is, wow. Make sure that you tag it if you are watching this video so when this is done, we can showcase it and see what your full progress is. This next one is pretty darn epic and I just love it. This is from BTDATDBS and I think he said I can call him DBS. I think. <laughs> I'm gonna get it wrong every single time. But this is a 1 12th scale diorama. The professor's study in the X mansion. Look at this. This is a really different style than what we oftentimes see from diorama creators because usually we see really detailed uh, paintwork with dry brushing and whatnot, whereas this is much more comic. Uh, accurate I would say in the cleanliness of the paintwork it's it's not really shaded and whatnot and I am really loving it and look at the ceiling up here that is so cool I love the detail on that let's cycle through here I just think that you did a great job with the simplicity of all of this you know you could have uh, given detail to all of these books but you didn't and I actually really dig it I am loving the way that that is looking so awesome job, go check them out. Make sure you are following them on Instagram. Uh, so let's take a look at some of this. It's measuring in at 24 inches deep, 20, 40 inches long. That is a big diorama and 15 inches tall. So this is a massive diorama and I am really loving it. So thank you so much for tagging this for us to see. This next piece is pretty amazing with the realism. Now I get what you're seeing right here you wouldn't think oh this is much because there's no props and whatnot but you need to look a little closer look at the detail work on this wall with what would be plaster or whatever uh, actually fallen off of this corner and it is a brick wall behind it and then you've got whatever the, I think it's Wayne's code or whatever this down here it looks like a real room it looks real and then we get this wall here that also looks so realistic and I love the light effect that you've got in here this is from Ernst underscore creations and they've actually got another post that I'm gonna look at right now and share this is the other one that I wanted to show and 
It is so cool. And this, they said it's a work in progress uh, for a, uh, what is it? Le Repair de Lupin 3. I don't know anything about these characters. Uh, I do know that I think on Amazon, this guy, this SH Figure Arts one is like 25 bucks or something like that. But we're looking at the diorama and I, wow, this is so amazing. Look at that wall. You've got the brick kind of poking out. It looks so realistic. So awesome job to Ernest, Ernst Creations. Thank you so much for sharing. I believe this is your first showcase on the channel as well. And it was a great project to be able to display. Now, if you're like me, you probably buy a lot off of Amazon, maybe even a little too much. Now, your purchases from Amazon can support my channel just by doing what you've already been doing. Now, there's no added cost to you and no strings attached. All you need to do is follow my Amazon Influencer storefront at amazon.com slash shop slash techchucker and shop for the action figures you are already going to buy. At my store, I keep track of the prices of tons of action figures from Marvel Legends, Mezco, SH Figure Arts, and so much more. And I curate shopping lists that you can easily browse. I even have a deals of the day list that you can watch for the best deals so you can quickly grab that tough to find figure before everyone else. So whenever you make a purchase using the links from my store, I'll get a small commission but your cost stays the same. So go to amazon.com slash shop slash tech checker now and follow my store and explore all the shopping lists and buy what you like. That's all there is to it. Thank you for supporting my channel and happy collecting. This next diorama we've actually seen before, but it wasn't quite complete. And this is from mag underscore 1999. And one of the main reasons that I wanted to be able to showcase this again is he actually did a full-on stop-motion short film using this diorama as his set. And I have to say, I watched the film, and it is really good. And I am asking that all of you, after, after this video is done, that you go check it out on YouTube. His channel is MG1999, and we're going to go ahead and show you the actual trailer that he did for this film, because I think that they did a really good job, and hopefully everybody can appreciate just the amount of work that goes into this. So here is the trailer for his film. Next time, if you think you need backup, just ask. There's a difference in being good and being smart. We should just carve up the bird now and be done with it. You made a huge mistake coming. Not as big as yours. Now shut up and fight. Alrighty, I hope you guys will go check this out on YouTube and watch the full film. I've left the link in the description below so you can get there really easily after this video is done. And thank you again to Mag underscore 1999 for tagging me and letting me know that the film was done. This next one is actually a repaint of, I believe, a toy, and we'll look through this a little bit further, but this is from CRS Romero, and your paint work is very nice. I love it. So take a look at this. This is a before. I believe this is the Star Wars um, speeder of some sort. Is this the one with... Uh, I'm going to get this wrong. Anyway, I know it's not a diorama, but it is a prop. It is a vehicle, and I am all for all of this stuff. So here is the repaint up here. This is what it originally looked like. And let's scroll through some of these pictures. Look at that. This obviously looks so much better. Now the repaint, if you, hopefully you can tell, the repaint is on the bottom and the original is on the top. But the detail work on all of this is so good with your paint. Look at that. 
the the corrosion that you've got on there is really looking nice I like that there's a little bit of texture to that which is really looking good and then you've got some uh, like scratched off paint here on what I believe is the burner or whatever this is just looking so good I love it when people repaint these pieces and make them actually look good because you know Hasbro Mattel they're really they're not gonna do this they don't have the money to be able to do that and still only charge the 40 50 bucks that they do charge for these so awesome job to CRS underscore Romero and go give them a like and let them know just what you think of this repaint because it is great next up is a small display coming from Vasco toys we've got Arnold here right now and your sculpt work is looking good on here and the paintwork is also looking very very nice I like the different color tones that you've got with a little bit of white highlights and then this greenish I'm not sure sure what that exactly is if it's like an algae or a moss growing around what would be this little uh, divot area or if this is uh, a blood trail from a predator that's what I'm going for that's what I'm guessing is it's blood trail from a predator so it's a 1 12th scale display really quite small but that is totally fine because it would look great on a display nice stop sign I'm liking that the sign looks really good nice and weathered so awesome job to Vasco toys for this little display piece Here's a display coming from the Chris Lyons. We've seen a lot of his work and that is because he does great work. I love this piece. It is, let's see, uh, well number one, commissions are welcome. So if you are looking for a diorama to be commissioned, hit up the Chris Lyons and maybe he'll be able to fit you into his schedule. But this is a great looking piece. His grass work is always so impressive because you know it's not just the single color of grass this is multiple colors of grass that I think looks great and then his stonework also is looking really nice because he doesn't just do the single color he does a couple of colors and there's usually a little bit of blue blue there's usually a little bit of brown and even a little bit of rust color in that and you can see that throughout here the sculpt is looking so good on this what is it some sort of like temple or whatever I'm not sure but this is such an impressive piece so go check out the Chris Lyons if you're not following him already because he's putting out a lot of work and a lot of very very quality work so awesome job to Chris this next picture I thought was pretty cool it's coming from Crashbox Customs if you aren't aware they were the ones who made the diorama displays for the Mezco displaced uh, tables at San Diego Comic-Con and this was one of their most popular I believe display pieces uh, it is a 1 12th scale Popeye and they commissioned a whole bunch of these so they I don't even know how many there are maybe it says here but they made a whole bunch and I I kind of dig having all of these all in a row because essentially that's what a dock would look like but I just look at that such great work I love it so if any of you who are watching actually were able to order one of these you are getting a really nice display piece so thank you to Crashbox Customs for supporting this channel and supporting the uh, hashtag by using it because it's always fun to see these sorts of pictures next up is a pretty cool piece this is coming from galactic underscore siy i call him galactic Psy. and this is one of those star wars gonk figures and it's actually custom made and i know that this is kind of a figure but i'm counting it as a prop for dioramas because they submitted it to this week in dioramas uh they also submitted it to this week in custom but i'm displaying it here I dig it I think you did a great job with the sculpt work I love these little uh, extra panels that you've got here and here it's just a fun looking piece so awesome job to Galactic Psy a great idea very very creative so thank you so much for submitting this next one is pretty unique I've not seen anything quite like this for a Dragon Ball Z display this is from Chad Chilla and it is a winter scene that I really like I like the snow I, I'm just wondering what you used do you say in here I'm not seeing I'm not really seeing what you used for the actual snow 
but it looks so good. And then the water with it being purple, that also is a cool different effect that I am really digging on. This is a nice closer up shot. You use some regular old rocks to throw in there and that is really adding to it. And I'm glad that you gave us this closer up look because we can see that different paint detail or the added paint detail, which is really making this pop i love it so much so thank you to chad chilla for sharing we got a couple of logs these are some nice additions to the actual display so awesome job again go check out chad chilla and let him know just what you think because this is a very very cool display here's an awesome display from fig underscore it underscore out obviously it's fig it out and this is a nice piece. I like it. We've got the Punisher and we've got Daredevil in here and Frank's got Daredevil wrapped up. And this is really, really good. I love the little rust like paint that you've got throughout the walls on here and even the tile I love that tile it's looking really good these lockers are also looking pretty cool so this is a great display piece I really dig it I'd love to see a wider shot to be able to see the entire display but still this is a very cool display piece here is a display coming from Ryuga make stuff and yeah you do make stuff and I like this it's a nice piece I uh, one wall and a little street display we've got the uh what is that the uh, the outline of what is gonna be a couple of dead people <laughs> that looks cool it's a nice little piece so i am digging it i think this wall looks really cool uh the pictures are, are a hair out of focus so it's a little harder to see all of the detail on here but the wall is looking nice i don't know what kind of paintwork you did or how you did that to get that look but it's really working. I think that looks so nice. So awesome job to Ryuga Make Stuff for a pretty cool looking display. Here's a small little display again coming from Vasco Toys. We've got Deadpool with his weapons wall right here and that's looking pretty cool. I, I know that this is uh, that uh, arts and crafts stuff I think where you're doing like the it's not knitting but it's it's something like that they've got those mesh things and I like that what you've done with that and your paintwork looks really good I love the floor I think you've you've done this color before on uh, a previous one that we showcased so this is a really nice display piece for those that are just kind of getting started this is the kind of display that I highly recommend that you start with just to get your feet wet is a single wall and a floor piece and then go from there and expand on that. So awesome job to Vasco Toys. Here's an awesome piece coming from El Chombo NYC. Go check him out. He also has a YouTube channel, does some uh, diorama tutorials and just kind of walkthroughs of the displays that he's done before. And this one is a really nice piece. It is, he created the floor and I believe maybe the side walls. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. But this middle piece, maybe he didn't create these. Anyway, uh, I know that he created the floor and he got this actual display piece. It's a NECA piece, I believe. So I just dig it. I love when people take some of the pieces that they get from manufacturers and then they expand on it and essentially finish what the manufacturer didn't do. And that is what El Chombo has done here. So awesome job to him. Here is an amazing piece coming from Henry715. He does a lot of really good work. He has a YouTube channel. Make sure that you go check him out. He does tutorials and whatnot. I know a lot of people have said that they've learned a lot from him and they've gotten started from watching some of his videos, his tutorial videos. So go check him out. But this is an awesome piece. I just love it. It's a mansion corridor diorama. Obviously it's gotta be, I'm assuming 1 12th scale. Loving the details that you've got throughout the wall here with uh, I think it's called a Wayne's coat or whatever it is. It's looking really cool. And then your paintwork on the walls is so good. I mean, that is just amazing. So awesome job to Henry715. We'll cycle through some more of these pictures so you can see all of the detail that he's got going on here. I mean, this is, look at those doorknobs. That looks awesome. Awesome, I love it. Go check them out. If you're not already following them, you should be. So thank you so much for using the hashtag. Uh, he also does a lot of raffles and whatnot on his Instagram. So make sure that you're following for that because they raffle off Mezcos, they raffle off dioramas. So make sure you are following him. 
There is a pretty sweet prop from Ernst Creations. We already showcased them once, but this is a little tube TV, old school style, and this is really cool. I, it's, uh, it's again for that D L Lupin 3 display that he's got going on, and I really dig that this screen actually is lit up. You can see a little figure or a, a character on there. Awesome job. I love these little pieces. Look at the little fins or the the Detail that you've got going on there and the dials. Wow, so cool. I love I love these little props So keep them coming everybody here is another display that I just when I saw it I looked back or I looked at it and I just said wow This is also from Ernst creations. I had to make sure that I shared this so this is a cool display look at this so one this little shack like building is looking really good this is what is it it's a dragon ball uh display but look at that it's round it's not that often that we see a full-on round display let's go through some of these pictures so here is an interior view look at that it's like a stereo system or something wow so cool and then right here this is an underwater scene where this guy, I don't know what he's doing, if he's got like a, a a reed or something that he's using to breathe, and this dude is pouring probably hot water down into that. <laughs> that is so cool. I mean, wow, what a great display. I'd love to see even more pictures of this one because it is such a phenomenal piece clean work look at the brickwork on this and then the cut wow wow i just love it thank you so much for sharing up next is this display coming from xenoworks heroworks again and very different from what we've seen before but i really dig the sculpt work that you've got on here so clean your paint work is really nice i am digging this not much for color but I think it really works. It's very different. So let's cycle through a few more of these. I'm wondering where you got this, if you painted it. I assume that you got this and then painted it from whatever, but it's it's working and I like it. So thank you again to Xenoworks, Heroworks for sharing. Hit them up for any commission needs that you have. And uh, again, thank you. Here is a sinister prop piece coming from Romwell1014. It is a guillotine. And yeah, I mean, it is pretty deadly looking. I like it. The paintwork is really nice on the woodwork that you've got here. Obviously, it's great that Deadpool is standing next to it. The blade is looking good. Let's cycle through. Look at that. You've even got the string here that will, I assume, actually work to pull this up and let it drop down. So this is a fun little project then. I'm really glad that you shared it with us so that we could take a look. Next up is this display, which is pretty amazing from Cremated Plastic. I uh, haven't seen anything from you in a little bit, but now that we've got this one, I am super stoked to be able to share this with everybody. This is a sewer display piece, and obviously this is uh, a, it's hearkening back to Batman Returns with the Penguin's duck boat, and I am really digging this. It looks like it is up for sale. Now, who knows if it is still available or not, but let's cycle through some more of these pictures. One, this is a great photo, but let's see if we can get a little more of the diorama in here. Look at that. That is a lot of resin that you've got in there to get that water look, and it is looking so nice. So awesome job to Cremated Plastic. DM them if you are interested in buying this from them. Uh, it's a really neat looking display piece, so thank you so much for sharing this with us. Here is a amazing diorama throne that is coming from Shockwave, uh, well, you can see it. I love the lights. The lights on here are so cool. Even his eyes in this part light up. This is just an amazing piece. And then, wow, we've got Megatron in there. And what does he say here? It's an MP36 throne made out of XPS foam, some wood, acrylic, LEDs. Wow, what an amazing piece. I love it, especially the lights. But look at all of the sculpt work that he's got on here. Wow. This is so cool. I love it so much. Look at this. This is the back of the actual throne. 
so many details on here and it's painted so nicely. So awesome job and thank you so much for sharing this with us. And this is another one coming from Shockwave 3 v I'm not gonna say it all. This is a really cool piece. I dig it a lot. It is, let's see, not sure what scale this is, but it is 31 inches long, 20 and a half inches deep, and 18 inches high. There are LEDs in this, and it is looking very, very nice. So let's cycle through. This is the part that I love. You've Im embedded these little lights into the actual walls. And I'm hoping, I don't remember if you had a picture with the lights off. Let's cycle through. But this is such a cool display piece. Oh no, there's no, no picture with the lights off. I really want to see that. So maybe if you can post that up and tag me, uh, maybe we can look at it next week. But this is a really cool display piece. Thank you so much for sharing. Great sculpt, great paint. Awesome, I love it. Here's another one coming from Bambino Dioramas. This is a Masters of the Universe Snake Men Diorama Detolf. And I am digging this a lot. I love all of the colors that you've got. The greens that you use are so deep and rich. I just love it. And the sculpt work on this is very much on point. I love the door. The work that you do with the sculpt on your cracks looks so realistic. I, you know, I think I do decent cracks, but your cracks really look good. So awesome job. I love all of the little vegetation that you've got throughout here. The variety of it is what really makes this thing stand out. So thank you so much to Bambino Dioramas. This is a very nice piece. The paint on here is so nicely done. I love the different colors that you're using with the more gray for the doorway and then the darker greens throughout the back of the uh, actual wall piece and then of course the snakes that are added on there are the uh, not snakes ha, the roots that are growing throughout really adds to it so thank you so much here's another one of those display pieces coming from Craig's modeling corner I believe this is a HO scale display kit that uh, is for rail uh, like the, the model trains and this is just another awesome piece it's a general store so go check out Craig's modeling they do some really nice work with this uh, one thing that I would like to know is with these kits how much of this is already done versus the amount that that you do uh, I know construction constructing it is you know you're putting it together but are you painting it I'd love to know all of that uh, because it, even though it's a kit I know it's not easy to do this work so thank you again for using the hashtag always welcome these train uh, model kits and and model system model systems all of these uh, train dioramas because it's I'm very intrigued by it and I love seeing it so thank you so much Next up is this display coming from Cursed Customs or Cursed Customs and I really dig this piece. It's looking super cool. It's uh, what is it? Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Saying they well the dry brushing still needs some work. Hey, you know what? Nobody starts off perfect with their dry brushing and I have to say for a, either a first or second or whatever however many attempts you've done it still is looking very nice especially on the ground here that is looking very nice you've got some sort of like impact crater or whatever right there I dig it I think you did a great job on it and I like the fact that you've got this uh, opening here now obviously with the white background it's it's not giving the quite the effect but I think you've got another picture in here yeah so you've got the actual uh, cutout pieces that you can put in there which is nice you put a nice little black background in there for the photos or something and that'll look really cool with the uh, hole in there and then throw in a figure so that they're you know maybe juggernaut or something is bursting through that hole but this is a great little diorama piece. I am really stoked to be able to showcase this. So thank you so much for using the hashtag, a great little project. 
All right, this next one is coming from Drippo Rama. I've seen a lot of his work, and this is an amazing piece. It is a Professor X Cerebro Diorama. I really dig it. Just look at that. It looks so good. I think you did an amazing job. Now, your pictures are very stylized, and so what would be cool is if we could see something with the lights on to be able to see the full picture of this diorama uh, rather than just the cinematic look uh, but I love the cinematic look on this thing so we're gonna go ahead and play the video I'm not gonna talk over it because I may need to uh, kill the the music that goes along with it just in case I get copyrighted so let's go ahead and play this thing and take a look All right, so thank you again to Drippo-Rama. Uh, you always do such great work with your dioramas, so go check them out. They, I believe, also have a YouTube channel. Go check them out on YouTube as well, and give them a like, a subscribe, a follow, all of that stuff. Here's a small little display coming from Clanaball or Clanabal. And this is a nice little Nightmare Batman diorama. We don't really get a whole lot of uh, detail about the size or whatnot, but this is, I believe, the Mafex? Maybe the Mafex uh, Nightmare Batman. So we do get a bit of the scale. I think your paintwork is really nice on this and the detail with all of the debris and then your little bit of uh, what would be barbed wire right there, which is pretty sweet as well. So this is a nice little display that is going to be very, very cool on a shelf or wherever you happen to be putting this thing. So thank you so much for tagging it. Here is an awesome display coming from Plastic Underscore Goodies. We already showcased them once before, I think. And this is a full-on diorama that I am very impressed with. The detail with the paint and the sculpt throughout is so good. And then all of your props are also looking pretty darn amazing. I love this diorama. It looks so good. Look at that wide shot. Wow, look at every little detail. Your paintwork on this brick especially is so very nice. And then your graffiti throughout and the little posters, all of that adds to the realism of this very cool display. So thank you so much for providing us or Thank you so much for uploading and tagging this. It is a really great display piece. Next up is this display coming from Figures and Photography, and it's just a one wall and floor piece, but it looks very, very nice. I love your paintwork, especially this little bit up here, and then down around here with the little bit of uh, what would be, I guess, water damage. The sign looks great, and then the wood that is actually uh, covering up the window. I think this is just a nice little display piece. So thank you so much for sharing this with us. The paintwork is on point, so I am very much digging this. And here is a prop piece, another one coming from Lucas Tattoos. This is a bus stop, a uh, little canopy sort of thing, and it's just looking disgusting, which is great. I love it. I think you did a really nice job. It's scratch built 124th scale, and this thing looks so good. Although, if I had to wait for this bus, I don't know that I would want to wait here. Look at that. That is so cool with the Back to the Future movie poster there, and the corrosion with the paint on there is looking so good. Wow, your attention to detail, and especially with this scale, is so good good and we can see the actual bus routes there. Wow, what a great job. I am loving this so much. So thank you again for sharing this with us because this is just amazing work. 
And last but not least is this display coming from, again, Clannabel, and I am digging this Batman Dio. And it's essentially a two-piece, and it's similar in style to a, a diorama that I'm working on right now, where it's an inside and then an outside piece. I'm kind of liking yours a little bit more than mine. Uh, you've got another wall right here, which is looking really good. You've got these windows boarded up, which is pretty sweet. But the bottom part, this out exterior, is really what I am digging a lot. Look at this where you can see the brick poking through uh, from either the stucco or plaster or whatever that might be. That is looking so good. I am really digging this piece. You did a great job with it. All the details. And look at that. You've actually got what looks to be a little circuit board underneath in this uh, power box. That is a great little added piece to this that gives it that extra little bit of realism. Wow, what a great idea. I really dig what you've done here. Look at that. What a phenomenal piece. So thank you so much to Clannabal. Clannabal, Clannabal, not sure how to pronounce it. But thank you for tagging this. This is just an awesome piece. Thank you to everybody who tagged their projects this week. It was really tough to go through and figure out how I was gonna just put this episode together. I hope you enjoyed all of the dioramas that we showcased, but we are not quite done yet. It is now time for me to reveal my top five for the week, and you guys will get your opportunity to vote for your favorite on the community tab of my channel. And my top five are the Oscorp Warehouse by Style. Cairo Smith Dio Arts, The Back Alley by Plastic Goodies, The Decepticons Throne by Shockwave XVLX, The X-Men Professor's Study by BTDABDVS, and The Dragon Ball Display by Ernst Creations. Make sure you go to the community tab on my channel and vote for your favorite this week, and I will let you know who the winner was next week. Alrighty, there you have it, folks. I hope you enjoyed this episode of This Week in Dioramas. If you did, make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, hit the bell notification so you find out about the next episode. Go out and share this video. Let's grow this show as much as we possibly can. And even more importantly, go upload your diorama projects and tag them with the This Week in Dioramas hashtag so I can find them. And I will see you next week.